What I want to demonstrate in this video is a few of the methods that they use to uh, uh, measure firmness on greens. And firmness is one of the characteristics of playability. And uh, the idea of firmness has evolved through various devices. They still measure the same thing, how, how firm the surface is. And the very first one here is on, the, on my left, on your right, is the uh, United States Golf Association True Firm Meter, which was developed probably early 2000s, middle 2000s. The first time I actually saw it being used was at the 2007 U.S. Open at Oakland. And the device, basically you lift and you measure the impact of a projectile hitting the surface. So through this uh, data, Logger, you would just drop the device. Sorry about that. You would want to keep it firm. You would drop the device, and then the numbers, would, uh, the measurement would come up, and you would store it. This device costs about somewhere between seven and nine thousand uh, dollars. They no longer make the uh, True Firm meter. The USGA itself does not make it. Uh, they do service those like this one since we own one they'll service it for us however uh, uh, another company has taken over the concept of the true firm meter it works the same way shown here and uh, again same thing you're dropping a projectile let me turn it on here so I'll be able to get, get a number And you raise and drop, and it gives a number. For example, here it says 611, which is pretty soft. This is the uh, this uh, area has received a lot of rain, and uh, so that number is relatively soft, or relatively means it's relatively soft, not very firm. So again, the measurements are uh, a relative term to compare them. Now this device, and this one costs less than $1,000 now, so you can see the price is coming down, being more affordable for uh, golf courses to use. And now the one that's preferred by the uh, PGA Tour is uh, uh, this uh, firmness meter. And it consists of a measuring device like this, which you can put on your index finger tell you exactly how high you're going to drop this ball. Right. And so for example, here it is here. Nice to know I'm not sweating too much under the arm, right? And then you drop it. As you can see the indentation. They provide uh, a device to measure that impression. Turn it on. You zero it. Then using this about eighth inch diameter uh, washer, center it over the indentation caused by the ball. And then place it on it in the center, let it come to rest, and it gives you a measurement, in this case, 0.524. And again, another relative term, but uh, oftentimes you'll make multiple uh, firmness measurements with any of these devices, cross, cross the green, store them, and keep a record of them. Oh, I should make one to finish up. As you can see, uh, with both all these devices, they make an indentation. You can see here, all right, you should repair it with any uh, ball mark tool as you would as if a golf shot had been here. That's it.